Summary of the Top News in Chinese Business and Technology for October 10, 2017 Part of the Daily SubChina Newsletter, a convenient package of China's business, political, and cultural news delivered to your inbox for free. Subscribe here. Reuters reports that the Democratic Republic of the Congo DRC has ordered the Sikomans joint venture to stop exporting cheap, unprocessed copper and cobalt, in order to increase profits and faster pay off loans the DRC took at the start of the project. What's going on in the DRC in 2007? The Central African country announced that it had reached an innovative minerals for infrastructure deal with China. Sino Hydro Corp and China Railway Group Limited would build $3 billion in infrastructure, in exchange for a $3.2 billion mining project that supplies minerals to China, including some vital to battery production, such as copper and cobalt. Sikomans, short for Sino Congolese des Mines, as the company is known in the French speaking DRC, is the joint venture affected in this case. Bloomberg notes that Sikomans is 68% owned by Sino Hydro and China Railway. The DRC has one of the world's most lopsided ratios of resource wealth to GDP, so the government had to take loans from China to build and operate the mines. The profits of Sikomans are set to pay off the loans. The DRC's mines minister Martin Carbalulu wrote to Sikomans director General Sun Ruwen on September 11 to complain that Sikomans was exporting unprocessed metals, rather than processing them in country and adding value. Reuters notes a potential reason for why Sikomans didn't bother to process the metals in country the DRC lacks enough electricity to process the minerals domestically, and Sino Hydro and China Railway Group are also financing a $660 million hydroelectric plant to reduce the power deficit, which forces miners to rely on generators and costly imports from neighboring Zambia.